Hi guys, Alice Taylor down here at St. Hans Old Links today, and today I'm going to be testing the new Taylor Made M6 iron. Right then guys, who do I think this iron is aimed at? Strong loft, kind of lots of weight down in the bottom, very, very forgiving. So for me, the M6 is aimed at that guy who's looking for more distance, maybe looking for that little bit of help getting the ball up in the air as well, and looking for ultra forgiveness. So generally speaking, probably those mid to high handicappers, but I'm not saying maybe those low handicappers who struggle with the ball striking, possibly this might stack up as well for you. So let's have a really good close up look at the head, talk about some of the tech, let's hit some shots and see how the TaylorMade M6 performs. Right then guys, so we've got the TaylorMade M6 iron. So we have got new speed bridge technology. So we can see a really big undercut. So nice thin face, very, very forgiving. Got a re-engineered speed slot in the bottom. Again, just kind of from seven iron up. 8.9 wedge, not got that in. For this year though, we're not seeing any slots in the face on the club. So they feel that the face can be thin enough that we don't need that extra help from there. So seven iron at 28 and a half degrees. So again, very, very strong in loft. Expecting this to be very, very powerful. And a good looking club, little bit more technology in it than M4. But as ever, let's see how it performs. Right then guys, so we have got a horrendous day down at Lytham Golf Academy. So I've retreated to the studio at St. Anne's Old Links. So we've had a close up look at the M6 head. For me, like I said, a little bit more technology in there to make it a bit more forgiving, even though a little less visual tech, which I don't necessarily think is the worst thing that you can't now see the slots on the face and I know there was maybe a couple of issues last year with some manufacturing processes. So I think taking that off the face is going to make it more consistent. But let's hit some real balls. We have got Titleist Pro V, got GC Quad. Talk about how it looks and feels. Then we'll look at some numbers and see if M6 and TaylorMade might go in your bag. So I think when you look at it behind the golf ball, you know, it looks like a very, very powerful 7 iron. Off we go though. So a solid one to start with. There's my little shapey one back. Pitching nearly 170. And like I said, you know, I think there's lots of weight down in the bottom with the head. So even though this is a very strong loft, I'm still expecting probably for me to see that launch angle round about that 19 degrees. But I think what we will see is lots and lots of ball speed out of this 7 iron. And again, that felt very, very quick off the face. That one's gone even further. And obviously we can see how far the ball's finishing there, but the big thing for me with the irons is we look at carry distance. And again, that just feels so quick off the face. Just seems to be hitting these gradually longer and longer. But last couple. So that one just felt a little bit more bottomy. Bottom groove, but still very, very good performance. And let's go one last one with M6. Again, that does feel so quick off the face. Right then guys, so totals getting out nearly 200 with a 7 iron, so it is super long like you'd expect. But let's look at some numbers from M6 and see how it stacks up. Right then guys, so interesting there, we can see some quite big variances in ball speeds. Like I said, I was expecting to see around 90, 19 degrees launch, so a little bit higher. 
Average ball speed 122, which is definitely quick. Saw that one at 128 though, that was massively fast. 5,000 backspin, maybe a little lower than I would be hoping for, but expectations of that 28 degree, 28 and a half degree seven iron would tend to make me think that would be about right. So then when you look at the overall average of that club, we can see an average carry of 177, total 189. That is super, super long. Right then guys, so we've looked at the numbers and, and to be fair, as I expected, hot, really hot off the face. Was a little bit surprised with such a spread in the ball speed. Now I thought, the quick one was very, very quick. I'm not sure I've ever seen a seven iron come that quick off the face, set up for me. But I thought there was a big drop off. Now, does that mean it's maybe not as forgiving as some of the stuff in the past? Don't know. You know, face slots were very, very important in the past and they're not now. So I don't know, it, it's different. Is it a massive improvement on M4? I would say no. I think if you guys have already got M4 in the bag, don't think you'll be changing to M6. I think guys who have got irons that are four, five, six years old, that are looking for that little bit more, yes, this is definitely something you should be trying. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like and share it. Comment below and I'll get back to as many of you as I can. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down in the future. Stay in contact.